because it's been surrounded from day one with so much emotion, so much fear, so much psychology, so much drama, very few people are capable of looking at AIDS logically. We can be exposed to HIV many times without being chronically infected. Our immune system could get rid of virus within a few weeks if you have a good immune system. If you have a good immune system, then your body can naturally get rid of HIV. Yes. If you take a poor African who's been infected and you build up their immune system, is it possible for them to also naturally get rid of it? I would think so. It's very easy to get people to think the right thing if you get the right on the tablet the first time. But once something's on the tablet and you gotta erase it and put something else, it's very hard to get people to think differently. The victims of HIV and the dedicated professionals combating it deserve our sympathy, compassion, and respect. However, at Journey's End, I find myself perplexed, bewildered at times with an overall feeling of dismay and sadness. I found a research community in disarray over the most fundamental understanding of HIV, all the while presenting a monolithic public posture of authority and certainty. Bluntly stated, we have tests that prove nothing, remedies that kill, and statistics manipulated to the point of absurdity. 90% of global HIV corresponds to areas of great poverty and squalor. Ironically, while we may have been pursuing a phantom killer, a shape-shifting assassin, perhaps the real enemy has been hiding in plain view, clear as day, and as old as time. <laughs>